This is the all new Ubit AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card for your desktop. We're going to review it and test it. Welcome back to our tech. As with most gadgets today, Ubit has also decided to go the eco-friendly way. So the box outside has no plastics, nothing mentioned on it. It's just a simple old cardboard box with all the things inside. So it's just a small sticker outside. Once you open the box, you have all of the accessories. Looks like it's mostly wrapped in plastic, so there is a lot of plastics inside. So this is the USB cable, which obviously runs your Bluetooth. There's the card there. You have two small Wi-Fi antennas. These are much smaller than the ones which I already have, so I'll show you the compare with that a little later. There is uh, two screws provided. Very nice of them. Generous. I can see half size adapter and you also have a screwdriver. There's also a user manual, a pretty large one. I think it has multiple languages and a CD. I mean, who gives you a CD in today's world? There is a CD and that's a you know, mini disc. Quite a colorful user manual this is. Has languages on two sides. So you can choose English if you like to read it in English. Here's what you get in the box. So there's about five or six items which are most important here. Of course, it's the card which is the most important, but they've also thrown in a lot of other things. So let's take out the Wi-Fi card. Now this is based on an Intel chipset. Let's see how interesting this looks. Uh, right off the cover, I can tell you that this uh, looks like quality stuff. You know, this Ubit logo looks like it's embossed into the whole protection cover there. So I'm sure that Intel chip is actually behind this cover. This comes, you know, with, with a sealed unit. You can't actually pull out this and see how the chip looks. So this is actually a closed unit. So this one's uh, the Wi-Fi 6 802.11 AC AX series of cards. It's got Bluetooth 5.1, uh, speeds up to 2400 megabits per second and 574 on 2.4 gigahertz band. So it's a dual band card, of course, 160 megahertz. So uh, I'm not gonna do technical testing on this one. I just bought it as a good network card. So we'll find out how good it is at the rare it's just mentioned ubit and where you get your drivers but the website actually doesn't have anything i mean i don't know why so this cable the bluetooth cable needs to be connected to your motherboard in case you want the bluetooth to actually function so this is the same with most of the desktop cards so just remember that if you want bluetooth to function you have to plug in this cable to the adapter So this is a dual antenna setup. They've provided two antennas here. So the antenna bands are pretty easy to fix and they're a little smaller than the usual size. The previous one which I had were the Fenwees and uh, they were pretty large. This one's a little smaller. It's good for the desktop. Again, it's flexible antenna. It's a very compact device. Some of specs from the Intel website, TXR Extremes 22. You have two bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, 160 megahertz total. We have a max speed of 2.4 gigabits per second, Wi-Fi 6, of course, and it's a 802.11 AX spec. You also have Bluetooth 5.2, and it's integrated Bluetooth, of course. Comparing this with the Fenway adapter, which I had previously, I had done the video a few years back. I'll leave links here. And you can see that the antenna sizes are much smaller. The Fenway was using an Intel 3160 chip, and that was AC, I think 1300, and this one's much more faster. Let's take a look at the specs again. So yep, this is Bluetooth 5.1. It's twice the speed of a regular Wi-Fi card, they claim. 4x better range. And yeah, I mean, this is much more smaller in size, I feel. So just to check how fast the Fenby adapter was. So. There is a command in uh, Windows which you can use. It's called uh, WMIC NIC, where net enabled is equal to true, get name, comma, speed. And when you do this, you're gonna get some network details. So here it shows you that it currently had a Intel 3160 chipset. Speed is about, I don't know how much this is, 1300 megahertz, probably. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So you run it a couple of times and you get different speeds. So let's take off the old card from here. That's a pretty simple process. I haven't even 
taken out my desktop so i have a wall mounted desktop you can see a video for that i'll link it up here so this is the fenvi adapter and remember this card can be plugged into a pcie uh, express slot and you don't have to actually have you know the half size PCI slot anymore. You can even plug this into a regular PCI slot. Okay, this is a new card. I'm going to plug it in into my motherboard. I have a motherboard which has a PCI Express slot, which is the half size slot. So I have no problems putting this in straight away. Fits in pretty well. Make sure that you secure this with uh, the screw which they have provided you with, and that's it. Just make sure that you connect your Bluetooth cable. Previously, I should run the cable uh, above my graphics card and that used to look a little dirty. So if you have some space, make sure that you, you know, rewire this behind the graphics card so that, you know, it looks a little neater. And that's the slot there. So uh, currently have an existing cable, which is in the USB port. I'm going to plug that out. That's my Fenway cards cable that's out. And I'm going to plug this new cable there. I've just zoomed in so that you can see it a little more clearly. Okay, once you've done, uh, you just have to reroute the wire back to that Wi-Fi card. So if you take it from above, it's going to look dirty like this. So make sure that, you know, you rewire it from the back. So once the card is in place, you have to fasten the antennas. And uh, this one has relatively small antennas. So kind of makes it very easy to have other things plugged in at the back of your computer. By the way, this is the Cooler Master H500 case, so it's it's a pretty big computer case and uh, has a lot of options to upgrade and put a lot of stuff in. So you shouldn't have any problems if you have a big computer case. There you go, the antennas are ready and the card is ready to function. So you can see here that I've taken the wire for the Bluetooth from the back of the graphics card. I just wanted to show you that it's a better way to do it if you have a good computer case. And the antennas, even though small, are supposed to be performance oriented. Let's hope it delivers what they claim. Okay, speed test here. And it's already running about close to about 120 megabits per second. So this is a 100 Mbps line. So yeah, we're getting about 119 megabits per second. I'm testing this on Windows 11 as well. So it's much easier to do this on Windows 11. So when you uh, click on your network card and the small arrow there, it tells you the link speed straight away. So when you look at uh, the last section here, you can see the receive speed and the transmit speed. And that keeps changing every time you do it. So the second screenshot I have here shows you a different speed. So don't bother much. So the real reason you want to use a card like this is for high speed file transfer. That can be done using, let's say transferring a phone to a PC file, for example. So on my phone, I'm going to you know open FTP transfer app so that I can transfer some files directly to my PC, all right? So all you got to do is just enable FTP on your phone. Now we're going to go to Windows 11 here. In this case, you can do it on Windows 10 as well. If you want to add a network location, it's pretty simple. Just click the three dots on my PC, choose the custom uh, location, add the address which you got on your mobile phone. And that's it. I can see my Samsung S10 over here. And when I double click that, the files are instantaneously displayed over here. And this is pretty quick. I, I know this can happen with any Wi-Fi card, but I could see that, you know, my phone has almost 10 to 15 GB of files and images here and it's seamless. I didn't see any kind of lag. And just to prove a point, let's do a file copy and just see how fast this can be, right? So I'm gonna pick a file which is somewhere random here. one point five GB let's see if you can get something about that yeah so this one's about one point six GB let's see how fast this can take okay I'm gonna copy this to let's say my desktop okay there's no paste button on Windows 11 so I just control V and yeah the file copy has started now remember the router I'm using is still working here because that is a Nokia router uh, that is not a Wi-Fi 6 router. Now, that can actually slow down the speeds a bit. 
But nevertheless, I can see that, you know, this transfer is actually pretty seamless. I mean, it stays two, 2 minutes and 45, but if it's a smaller file, it would probably just fly. I, I tried a lot of applications in the past to copy files between my phone and my PC, and it was really slow. But this FTP thing works really fast, and this card makes it much faster. It's very convenient to transfer files now with these speeds. And uh, you also know that you don't have to use a cable that more often. So let me know what you guys think about this uh, Wi-Fi card. This is the Ubit AX200 card. I'll leave links in the description below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe and share the video with anyone who could find this useful. I'd like to thank you once again for watching this video. Please leave your comments below. I shall see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.